is a recording of this year's virtual residency fair. We'd like to take the time to thank the programs that volunteered their time to present to this year's applicants. This year's PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by PMNR Recap and Ultrasound Guidance. PMNR Recap is the leading resource for your physiatry board preparation, clinical preparation, audition rotations, and beyond. PMNR Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and oral board cases to help you become the best physiatrist that you can be. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. Ultrasound Guidance is the innovative new on online ultrasound learning platform that gives you instant access to expert instruction. With rapid scans and complete scans of every joint and peripheral nerve, Ultrasound Guidance is the perfect way to jumpstart your MSK ultrasound learning. Visit ultrasoundguidance.com to learn more. Hey y'all, uh, my name is Steve Sayano. Uh, I'm one of the PMNR PGY4s, um, one of the chiefs at uh, UNC. Um, so glad to be with y'all today. Um, uh, unfortunate that I had to follow um, University of Alabama on, uh, I'm a big uh, Bama Rush Talk guy, and uh, today is bid day, so uh, a hard, hard crowd to file, follow today, even though it's, uh, I think, um, Birmingham's like an hour from Tuscaloosa. So, um, so uh, here to give you a little bit of an overview of our program uh, and kind of what um, what makes P uh, UNC PMNR um, kind of a, a great program and a great way to spend your four years of residency. Um, just to start off, you can see we kind of do have this um, uh, this kind of collaborate or a, a giant picture of all the people in our uh, our program. Sans me, I was actually on a trip during this, so I'm. Uh, probably the only person missing from this, but you get to see my face currently. Um, and uh, I, I do appear, I guess, some, some other places in the, in the slideshow. Um, so uh, just to go over briefly our program leadership, um, we have uh, Dr. Alexander here. Um, he is our chair. He's a pediatric physiatrist, um, awesome guy, really down to earth, very um, connected to both the residents and the faculty. Um, we have Dr. Filer, our program director. Um, who is one of our um, uh, general um, physiatrists, uh, does a lot of EMG, amputee, um, covers the inpatient service, um, and uh, also a very great down-to-earth, uh, kind of kind, genuine guy. Uh, Dr. Rauch, I don't think I can say enough good things about um, her, absolutely a, a sweetheart, and um, probably one of the nicest people uh, that you'll, you'll ever meet in, in your life. And then finally, um, the kind of, uh, true lifeblood of our program is Thomas, um, who's our um, residency coordinator. Um, he is absolutely on top of everything. Um, you know, I, I'm sure you've heard many a time um, that the program coordinator makes uh, or breaks the program. And uh, Thomas is an absolute gem that we have. And I'm uh, so, so glad to, um, to have him. And uh, back when I was, uh, you know, starting out, uh, you know, back in the day. Uh, Thomas was working uh, in the GME office and actually was the person uh, setting up our GME, like uh, credentialing. Um, and uh, our old program coordinator left and Thomas came in and um, honestly, it's been a dream ever since. So uh, he is, again, truly the lifeblood of our program. Um, and we are so glad to have him. Um, in terms of uh, the chief residents, um, Myself, right there in the middle, I apologize, this uh, photo was taken and um, I don't know what they did with the lighting there. Uh, they, they tried to make it look like they were in a studio. This was taken in a, um, in a conference room with backlighting. Uh, there's nothing I could do about that. Um, so uh, I'm here on, in the center. Uh, I'm Steve, I'm, one of the, uh, I'm the academic chief resident. So I do all the um, medical student um, and interview stuff, um, which is why I'm talking to y'all today. Um, Andy is our, um, administrative resident, she does all of our scheduling, uh, and Matt is our education chief resident, he does all of our lectures, um, didactic kind of stuff. So um, all three of us are uh, chiefs in some respect. Um, we all kind of share the, share the load of, uh, of keeping this program running. So um, at any time, if you have questions, um, please feel free to read out to uh, any of the three of us. We're all very responsive, very, uh, very plugged in people. Um, in terms of um, what UNC has to offer, um, we have uh, actually a brand new inpatient um, rehab unit. Um, they just opened in uh, February of 2022. Um, this, uh, we were at the main campus for years. Um, we just opened this brand new tower, as you can see over here um, at Hillsborough Hospital, which is um, about 15 minutes north of the main hospital. Um, it is a state-of-the-art facility. It is a, kind of a freestanding community hospital 
um, that was just built uh, and we got our own um, top two floor tower here. Um, you can see we have um, a phenomenal family room down here. We have um, uh, Sharon, one of our therapists uh, in our gym, uh, which you can see the gorgeous view out the side of um, doing some of the zero gravity uh, training. And then uh, personally, my, my, my true favorite part of the uh, whole experience is we have this new um, retention pond uh, that I like to call a water feature. Um, you can see it straight out of the, uh, uh, the workroom. They've really jazzed it up. It did, they put sod down. It, before it was pretty dismal, but it's, it's truly one of my favorite things to see all the you know, geese coming around and, and visiting. So, um, so this is our uh, new inpatient unit. A few um, kind of quick updates about it. So here are our patient rooms. They're very spacious, all single, um, single patient rooms, spaces for families. You can see this one has a view of the helipad. Um, and then this is our resident workroom. Um, apologize, it was not, it's not a prim and proper, but uh, it's uh, always, always a place in use. Um, you can see the esteemed uh, Dr. Matt Sharp uh, holding, holding down the fort over here. Um, uh, we have uh, ultrasound machines, we have standing desks that you can see over here. Um, we have like little ellipticals that can go under the, um, under the desk if, you're, if you so choose. Um, uh, in the corner, we have an espresso machine. So it's a very kind of fun, um, uh, cool, uh, lots of natural light area to, to get our work done and um, makes, the, makes the day feel, feel better and, and pass faster. Um, in terms of our rotation schedule, um, we uh, are a categorical program. Um, so all of our interns do rotate um, uh, at our main hospital. Um, we do four months of inpatient internal medicine. Um, which uh, can include everything from oncology to um, general medicine to um, like hepatology, um, nephrology. Um, and you rotate basically with the internal medicine residents. Um, you basically split a service with a uh, IM resident or IM intern. Um, great time, awesome educators here, um, really give you the foundations of medicine that make you feel comfortable um, kind of taking on uh, taking on your kind of responsibilities as a PGY2, um, managing inpatient services. Um, we also do basically a, an urgent care clinic, which is uh, really nice to go through kind of general uh, common complaints that patients present to, um, uh, to a clinic with. Uh, we do rheumatology, uh, do a lot of joint injections in this clinic, um, see a lot and follow a lot of the um, fibromyalgia patients, uh, chronic, um, uh, chronic like lupus patients, um, we do do a month of orthopedics um, and neurosurgery. Each of those months, um, you have opportunities for OR time if you're interested. Uh, you have opportunities to see consults, reduce things in the ER. Um, you can basically uh, make what you want of these months, do as, uh, a, as little or as much um, surgical or operative stuff. Um, or, or if you'd like to do more clinic, um, it's kind of up to you and, and you can drive, drive that ship. Um, we do a month of neurology because um, uh, obviously for inpatient rehab, uh, big drivers or big um, uh, players for uh, who comes to our inpatient rehab units are the um, neurology patients. They are um, uh, pretty, pretty cool and interesting service. Um, uh, obviously, UNC is a tertiary care hospital, so we see a lot of um, interesting and, and uh, unique pathology. Um, we do a month in the emergency medicine and the emergency department here at UNC. Um, uh, Pretty much, uh, we also do a, a burn clinic, which is um, uh, a little bit of introduction to burns, their management, um, also an opportunity for OR time there, um, or more clinic outpatient uh, time, and then also a month of um, PM&R, where uh, our interns kind of get acclimated to our service and uh, how we run things here at UNC. Um, as an intern, um, we have probably one of the, one of the nicest schedules. Um, most of these rotations are five days a week, um, with the exception of internal medicine and neurology. Those are six days a week. Um, everything else, like I said, is uh, you'll have your weekends um, and uh, you'll have holidays off um, on the, uh, uh, sorry, on the, on the, you'll actually have two weeks off for Christmas and New Year's. So it's a, it's a pretty relaxed um, intern year overall. And um, I cannot say I did not, uh, I, 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 uh, I, I can say that I definitely enjoyed that for sure. Um, as a PGY2, you kind of dive into the world of PM&R. Um, uh, you'll spend a good deal of time on the inpatient uh, units with some uh, outpatient months um, sprinkled in there. We have uh, four inpatient services, a spinal cord injury service, a traumatic brain injury service, 
um, a stroke um, a stroke service, and then also an orthopedics amputee trauma service. Um, uh, all these are kind of shared services between attendings. Each has one resident, one attending, um, very kind of one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, time to communicate, to get together and, and learn and, and teach um, uh, the basics of each of these, uh, uh, these disciplines. Um, there's also three months of outpatient rehab clinic, which again, kind of follows these same um, lines, there's spinal cord, TBI, stroke, orthopedics, uh, amputee and trauma. We just hired a cancer rehabilitation attending, um, Dr. Knowlton from Spalding. Um, and then we also have um, a multidisciplinary COVID recovery clinic, um, which is run by Dr. Barada, who is um, kind of a guru in the COVID recovery world. Um, and it has been kind of at the forefront for a while now. Um, we also have two months of spine clinic, um, which is interventional, um, you know, hands on the needle, um, uh, you know, both clinic and procedure floral suite time. Um, this is probably one of the um, most unique things about our program is that you get um, uh, introduced to the spine, into spine and interventional pain procedures um, in the PGY2 year. Um, this is kind of a, if you're interested in pain at all, it's, uh, I think, a really um, key point that uh, the due date for um, pain uh, 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 fellowship applications is like midway through your PGY3 year. So if you don't, uh, if you're trying to parse out whether you want to do it or not, um, getting the experience in your PGY2 year, having the opportunity to get some letters and um, some things under your feet is really a, a great um, benefit to our program if that's, that's what you're interested in. Um, it's also great if you're uh, not sure and uh, can do it and say, actually, I don't like that at all, and I do not want to spend time uh, applying and, and, uh, and uh, interviewing for it. Um, we also do a good amount of EMG time. We have a dedicated EMG lab shared between us and neurology. We work with both uh, PM&R and neurology attendings. Um, we do three months of pediatric rehab, um, primarily outpatient with inpatient consults. We do multidisciplinary clinics with spine bifida clinic, uh, cerebral palsy and limb deficiency clinics. Um, we also do three months of inpatient rehab as a PGY3. Um, one of our just general outpatient rehab clinic, um, uh, sports medicine clinic, um, which is a great opportunity to do ultrasound guided injections. And then one month of elective to kind of, uh, if you're interested in fellowship to kind of shop around and see what's, uh, uh, what's available. Um, and then finally in the PGY4 year, um, a little bit more of a flexible year, um, three months of inpatient rehab, um, two months of consult, three months of uh, outpatient rehab clinic that you can kind of steer yourself. If you're more interested in the cancer rehab stuff, you can do more of that. You can um, try and sneak in for some more fluoro time, whatever you uh, prefer. Um, you'll do two more months of EMG as a PGY4, um, another month of the spine clinic, um, and then uh, another month of elective uh, as PGY4. So that's kind of the biggest technical thing I have to talk about. Um, also, uh, briefly, our call schedule. Um, we do home call. Um, we have call one week at a time um, from Friday at 5 p.m. to Friday at 8, the next Friday at 8 a.m. Um, the weekends are split between first and second call. Um, basically, you split the inpatient census, um, and you will uh, basically round with an attending in the morning, and then you'll go home and carry the pager. Um, it's been pretty good. I've, uh, you know, Rarely had I maybe twice or three times in my entire uh, career had to go back to the hospital, so it's been a, a pretty good and uh, good or good call call life. Um, the majority of call first calls covered by PGY twos. They do about one week per month. That's actually less now that we have four residents, um, and then uh, PGY threes do one week about every three months. And then PGY fours we don't take first call. Um, we just kind of come in help around on the weekends and then. We're available for questions as needed. Um, uh, in terms of didactics and educations, we do a weekly uh, didactics, which are protected time. Um, our tenants cover our pagers. Um, we basically have off from uh, eight in the morning until noon um, with both uh, kind of mixed uh, like talk didactics and also things like cadaver labs, ultrasound workshops. Here's uh, Dr. Bartolo, one of our new attendings, showing off our newest uh, ultrasound machine. Um, we do uh, monthly grand rounds, journal clubs, M&M, um, oral board review, case presentations. Um, uh, we have a new research series um, that's being run by some of our um, attendings who have uh, NIH grants, just kind of giving us intros on how to 
start up research, produce research, um, you know, formal question, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, in terms of funding, uh, we do have an education fund for the residents. Um, PGY ones get $175 for individual uh, education stuff like books, uh, watches, whatever you want, iPad. Same thing for PGY two to four. This actually will probably increase this year. Um, it's just uh, uh, we don't know exactly how much, uh, and our, we're waiting for like a final vote from the uh, from the program leadership on how much it's going to go up, but it will. Get about $350 a month, or I'm sorry, a year for food. Um, and uh, our cafeteria gives us a considerable discount. So that will pretty much last you the entire year. Um, I often find myself spending at the end of the year trying to, to burn it. Um, we have five minutes left. Thank you. About $1,200 mm -hmm. $1, um, for conferences. Um, and then we also have a resident wellness fund that pays for a question bank, an espresso machine. Uh, we got fig scrubs, Patagonia vests, uh, and food for our lectures. Um, in terms of research, um, we have posters and presentations at uh, all the major conferences. Um, uh, we also have uh, collaboration with engineering at NC State, uh, grants uh, in NIH grants in our integrated medicine department. Um, this is uh, just a slide showing all of the research that we've published in the past year. Um, uh, had to really shrink it down to fit it on there, but it's, uh, it's a good amount. Um, in terms of fellowships, uh, where our residents are going, um, we have in-house fellowships in both sports, pain, neuromuscular, um, and multiple uh, uh, MS and palliative care. Um, our most recent uh, class went to Vanderbilt for interventional spine, um, pain medicine, I'm sorry, um, spell country at USF, and then uh, neuromuscular medicine here at, um, at UNC. Uh, and then we also have a, a, a pretty solid sports pipeline where residents are going um, uh, for the past three years have gone straight to uh, UNC's uh, sports program from, from our uh, residency. Um, in terms of diversity, we're a pretty diverse program. About half of our residents are female, third come from historically underrepresented minority groups. Um, we have uh, a good number of LGBTQIA plus residents, um, good mixture of families with and without, residents with and without families. Just some uh, kind of fun pictures of us all together, um, enjoying uh, life in Chapel Hill. Um, this picture I am blonde in, so we can just uh, grave me on over that pretty quickly. Um, uh, where is Where are we? We're located in Chapel Hill, which is kind of the melting pot of the South. We have a lot of people from uh, up North that kind of moved down from out West, from the South moving up. Um, so it's a great uh, mix of people and, and uh, personalities and cultures. Um, it's a beautiful area, lots of things to do out. Uh, you can go about two hours to the west, hit the mountains, to, uh, two hours to the east, hit the ocean. Um, beautiful scenery. Um, we're located, uh, again, in uh, kind of the outskirts of Raleigh, um, a little bit south of Durham. So we have this triangle of NC State, uh, Duke, and then UNC um, forming the research triangle. We have a Carolina Hurricanes professional hockey team, Lake Jordan, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, in our minor league baseball team, which is the Durham Bulls. And then we also just recently got Wegmans and I'm from the North, so I'm a huge Wegmans stand. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, uh, we do uh, life rolls on every, every summer um, and then a resident retreat in Michigan. I am blonde here, so we can just, again, gravy on over that. We do at least one or two of those a year, um, which is a great time to get together with all the different residents and, uh, uh, and catch up. And that's uh, really all I have for y'all. Um, here's our contact information. Um, if you need anything, please reach out to myself, Thomas, um, Andy, Matt, and I are all on Twitter. So you can message us there. Or, um, uh, also, I think our uh, emails are on the website. So that's all I got for y'all. Thanks so much for uh, listening. If you need anything, please let us know. We'd uh, be happy to hear from you this year. We got one question in the chat in case you wanted to take a look. Oh, sure. Um, is there, oh, uh, is there an opportunity for GEO students to do uh, OMT education? Um, we do have uh, two attendings that practice OMT, Dr. Rauch and Dr. Carnero. Um, uh, I, we don't have like dedicated clinics for it, but they do kind of integrate it into their practice. Um, and then where do most residents live? Um, some live uh, in uh, kind of the more urban areas like downtown Durham, but the majority of us live kind of outside um, uh, outside the, the outskirts of Chapel Hill and kind of the suburbs, which is 
uh, a nice nice area. That's all I got for y'all. Um, don't really want to go. Don't want to. Don't want to take all y'all's time. So, if you have any other questions, again, please feel free to shoot us uh, an email or a, or a, a message on Twitter. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time.